Karl Rove now came out and said that uh, Hillary Clinton has suffered from brain damage that is has has incurred brain damage in the medical episode that she had a little while back, which I'll tell you about. He says that Hillary Clinton suffered a trauma traumatic brain injury in a 2012 fall while urging Republicans to keep talking about Benghazi alive into the 2016 election, according to the New York Post's page six, which is kind of like a gossip column. Karl Rove reportedly told an audience on May 8th that he was skeptical of Hillary Clinton's recovery after she fell and uh, after fainting in her home back in December of 2012. The fall delayed her testimony before a House committee in 2012 on the attacks on Benghazi. And Rove suggests that Hillary Clinton's fall leaves some significant unanswered questions and attacked also the amount of time that she spent recovering in a hospital, also saying that her use of corrective glasses was likely a sign of traumatic brain injury. He said the official diagnosis was a blood clot. He went on to tell the uh, conference 30 days in the hospital. And when the when she reappears, she's wearing glasses that are only for people who have traumatic brain injury. We need to know what's up with that. Rove repeated this claim a bunch of times. We have to take this piece by piece talking about uh, a presidential candidate or potential presidential candidates. Health and age is legitimate. However, Karl Rove is completely baselessly creating this theory hypothesis. Number one, Hillary Clinton didn't spend 30 days in a hospital. She spent four days in a hospital. Number two, the types of glasses she was wearing are not just for people with traumatic brain injury. They are glasses commonly worn by people recovering from concussions or falling to correct double vision. So even the premises are false, Lewis. But the thing about it is today I walked over into the uh, kind of lobby that is uh, in, in on this floor of the building and they have the TV on there and they had CNN on and CNN is bringing on experts to talk about is Hillary suffering from traumatic brain injury or not in corporate media. They talk about whether the claims are true or not in this kind of 50 50 debate way, as opposed to stepping back and saying, hey, wait a second, what does Karl Rove know about Hillary Clinton's health? And it, it, it's an obvious attempt to criticize her to already cast her in a negative light for 2016 run to criticize her on Benghazi. These are just low blows and corporate media seems to just love the the opportunity to debate the statement itself. Yeah, he seems he's really digging here. Uh, obviously, the time has begun to start trying to disqualify and discredit Hillary. Um, and you know what? Someone who uh, with a career like Karl Rose, unfortunately, can go wherever he wants and say whatever he wants. And people are going to listen and people are going to air it. And he knows that and he's using it to his advantage. And the craziest, the most despicable part is this will probably work because these rumors start and then they start to infect the blogosphere and corporate media. And we have to step back and remember that there are conflicting theories about the concussion, even within the Republican Party. We now have the theory from Karl Rove that the entire thing was actually a cover up of a more significant traumatic brain injury. At the same time, remember that on December 20th of 2012, Tea Party Florida former Congressman Alan West said that Hillary Clinton faked the entire concussion to avoid having to give the Benghazi testimony in the first place and that it was all made up simply to try to get away from the, the so-called scandal that was Benghazi Two completely baseless hypotheses from different right wingers that directly contradict each other. But still, the right wing will absolutely love it. It's going to spread like a like a plague, David. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, hopefully, it just doesn't have that big of an impact because it's all just stupid speculation. Our program is viewer supported. We also do a whole extra program just for our supporters called the Bonus Show. It's hosted by Lewis. Go to davidpackman.com/membership to sign up today.